Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. Um I wanted to come out here and talk about hair. Um You know, your hair is your crown, it's your glory. Um And I do know that um, so many women, that's one of the bigger struggles, knowing that they have to um, depend on the chemo and their, you know, genetic um, background, how they react to the chemo. But nine times out of ten, their hair is going to come out. They do have the, the cold caps, um, similar to what I use on my feet and my, well, I don't, I use straight ice on my hands, but my feet, I have the, um, the slippers, uh, the ice slippers. I've tried the ice socks. They didn't, it was too much trouble. So it's just easier for me to do the slippers. Um, and when I first found out, you know, I was like, you know, my hair's already cut short. Um, I normally wear it short, um, if you're new. And, um, you know, at any given time, I might have any color in the book. <laughs> I've been to the mall. Um, and we'll do pink once we cross over, right? And get, get to the end and ring that bell. I'll do pink. Um, but I, from the beginning, didn't think that it would bother me as far as my hair. I did take into, um, I think I showed them one of those videos last week, um, or maybe it was this week, but I think it was last week, um, where... I had Brie shave it down, and we did one last color. Of course, I can't do color doing chemo. That's why it's grayed out. Um, and today I did my fourth chemo treatment. And last night, I had emotion that I didn't think I was going to have. Um... My scalp has been hurting, um, and my job, um, family, my work family were kind enough to gift me, um, five, four satin beanies. Um, they're really comfortable and, um, honestly, I, I do wear them, um, when I'm going to chemo sometimes, you know, or I'll throw on one of my breast cancer hats, um, but it was more to keep my head warm, right? Because it's it's still cold here in Georgia. So, um, but last night I started shredding. Like, I was like, oh, snap, wait a minute. <laughs> and Like I said, it's an emotion that I wasn't, I, I literally was not prepared for. Um, I thought of all people, that part would be easy for me. I'm not sure that it's the hair. If I'm being totally honest. I just don't want the pity from strangers. I don't want the stares. And literally at this particular moment, I decided to come on here because 
I had just taken a shower a couple of, probably about an hour or two ago. And um, I'm going to show you these products. Um, I've been using, and you don't have to use this brand, but 100% uh, extra, oops, sorry. And that's going to be back with y'all, I'm so sorry. Hold on, let me try it this way. Alright, so extra... I mean, 100% uh, pure extra virgin oil, uh, coconut oil, okay? And then I started using this, and um, it's cool to your scalp, so it helps a lot. Um, it's supposed to hydrate deep moisturizer. This is a leave-in conditioner, so I usually do the coconut oil um, between two and three times a week and then I do the um well I'm gonna have to increase it um I need to do that probably twice a day at least in the morning and in the evening so um I'm not saying to use these brands I'm not sponsored or anything but I am saying to find you something that has some good moisture to it to um try to hydrate your your skin because everything is being depleted um <sighs> everybody's gonna know it was one thing for me to tell y'all it's one thing for me to put it on Facebook. It's another thing for a total stranger to look at me pitiful. Or stare. I'm not quite sure I'm ready for that. So what I wanted to do and why I'm doing this is because ladies who do really, really care about your hair, it's a part of you. It's um, something that you identify with. I hear you. I see you. And now I feel you. Um... Because mine is definitely coming out. I just went to go put those products in my hair. And my head, my hand was covered with hair. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting to feel like this. So just know I hear you. And know I understand. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. If you know of anybody that's going through this and struggling, share the video. Um... Hopefully, it'll help them. Let them know that somebody understands. This is a sorority that nobody wants to be a part of. But when you are a part of it, you want to support your pink sisters. You want to support your butterflies. So, um... Know that I love you, butterflies. Make sure you hit subscribe and make sure that you um, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I love y'all's comments. Um, so, today was chemo number four. So... Here we go. Love you, butterflies.